to review this book, A Dare Me, by Megan Abbott, set around the world of cheerleading. We've got Megan talking about this very book and we'll discuss it after. Here she is. Dare Me is the story of this high school cheerleading squad and a new coach comes to town. She's young and she's beautiful and she's very charismatic and she really disrupts the power dynamics on the squad. I did a little research into what the most dangerous high school sports in America are, and cheerleading was number one. The book is set essentially in a, an American suburban high school. The main characters are Addie, who is the sort of second in command on the squad, and Beth, who's always been the captain on the squad. And Beth is sort of the alpha girl. And together they have always run the squad sort of with an iron fist. And Coach is a young woman, a former cheerleader. She's in her late 20s. She's got a rather glamorous uh, demeanor, but a sort of unhappy life. And when she comes onto the squad, um, the three of them form this sort of dangerous triangle. Come on, everybody, and clap your hands. In American schools, there are often National Guard recruiters, and so they're a presence in this school that's a kind of, they're the sexy soldier guys in the school, and the cheerleaders are kind of the, you know, they're the, the royalty of the school, so the interaction between them causes a lot of problems. They're really, from the outside, sort of the all-American girl, pretty and popular and gorgeous and, and perfect and perky. And then I saw that they were doing these really wild and dangerous stunts, which sort of pointed to a darkness in these girls to me, and then that sort of became the springboard for the book. I used to go on the chat rooms and follow the cheerleaders, and they used to post pictures of their wounds, their injuries, and there was this girl who had this it was essentially a shoe tread on the back of her shoulder because she was a girl at the bottom of the pyramid and the weight of the girls above her had actually left a shoe tread mark on her shoulder. And I had a picture of that above the computer as I wrote, so it inspired me. In the book, there are a lot of cheerleading accidents because it's a very perilous sport. So I had to do a lot of research into sports medicine, into what falls are like, sort of physics of it, um, so I could understand. I guess the books for me are sort of a place to put my dark thoughts. I often hear, you know, you seem really nice, <laughs> you write really dark books. Are you a serial killer on the side? Megan Abbott there, interesting. What do you think? Well, it was... Literally, I was on the edge of my seat when I was reading it. I mean, um, I think what she's done beautifully and brilliantly is the sort of almost evil characters. The girls are evil to each other. Mm. Um, and yet, they feel passionately about each other. I mean, Abby and Beth are best friends, and they've been best friends since they were nine. Mm. And, and that's a kind of, I don't know, you guys might not have... You don't think you have the same relationships. Girls get so intense about their female friendships. And this is a book about a rite of passage, really, as the girls are now teens, coming into their late teens. The coach comes along. She's older, more sophisticated. She's very sexy and beautiful, um, but threatening. And it's, it's almost, almost a love triangle in this kind of slightly... Uh, you know, slightly dark and sinister way. Mm. And I just think uh, the characterization is, is wonderful. I mean, uh, I really cared about all of them, even though they were all horrible in some way. It's quite extraordinary, though, that the, the book is, is actually written a, about a cheerleading team. Mm. Now, you, you honestly wouldn't have thought that have led to a psychological or crime thriller at all, but it, it does. It lends itself very well. Um, it's... It's really peculiar. It's different about it. As you say, nobody expects cheerleaders to be, you know, the, the main the pr protagonist in a, a crime thriller. Mm. Um, so giving it a, a brand mm. new setting. I've never come mm. across anything like it before. And, and I love that because yeah. of it. Um, a winner for you? I think a winner, yeah. yeah. Definitely a winner for me. I was literally... I mean, it, it, it's slightly vile. 
as is, you know, well, as all thrillers should be. You, you know that you're reading nasty stuff, but you want that. Yeah. And it is dark and it is, you know, it, it does have that sort of um, cruelty. I think I've said that a couple of times, that like cruelty comes, comes through all the time. But yeah, I couldn't put it down. Well, I think. All right. Well, you've heard what Adele thinks, but don't just take her opinion. Let's hear from the rest of our team of crime writing royalty with millions of bestsellers between them. Here's Lee Child, Kate Moss, Mark Billingham and Peter James. Dare Me is one of the most astonishing crime novels I've ever read. Not only in terms of its kind of very powerful and evocative style, but in the revelation that there is nothing more monstrous and evil than a 16-year-old cheerleader. The one thing I believe is fundamental to every single good piece of fiction, which is compelling characters that you actually get intrigued about and care about, even the nasty ones. You sort of don't want to be enjoying it because it is this continual ratcheting up of tension. Because it's happening inside this very strange subculture, not only do you see something you've not seen before, you feel things you've not felt before, and you learn things that you didn't know before. But it's a crackingly good story. Um, so all the way through, you're sort of like, oh, God, what you, you can't really bear to turn the page. It's sort of like Mean Girls meets Carrie. Dare Me would appeal to somebody who's never read a crime novel in their life. I mean, it truly is a fantastic piece of work, but it also has all the great reveals, the tension, the gripping quality that any great crime novel needs. It's a cultural book, a sociological book, just as much as a, a crime fiction book. It grabs you by the throat and holds you. As always, the climax to the crime thriller season on ITV3 is a glittering awards ceremony hosted by yours truly in October. 